One thing that can cause flooding on the Edelbrock is the needle and seat. Probably the number one uh, cause. So um, first do a quick test on it. If you got the top off, just let the float sit down on the needle and blow in the inlet here. And um, <clears throat> you shouldn't be able to blow through. You should feel it should stop your the air. Remember, if you blow hard enough, at five pounds will open up that needle. So that's the first thing you do. So if you feel the air going through, uh, then you got to keep looking further. So take the float off needle. You can take some carb cleaner. Spray spray in there to, to clean it out, clean out the seat. Uh, check out the needle, the Viton tip, see if it's scored. Somebody may have put too much pressure on it when they were just in the float. And um, if it is scored, replace it. Okay. Also, since you got the float off, shake it and make sure there's no uh, fluid in it. If the ga there's gas in it, it'll sink. Okay? So, anyhow, like I say, there's other things that can cause flooding, but needle and seat, dirty needle and seat is the biggest thing. So, maybe you're getting dirt in through, even if you have a filter on it, uh, dirt can still get through. The filters are not uh, going to keep dirt from going through. The biggest pieces, anyway, it will, but... Uh, uh, if if the filter was uh, the mesh was uh, so tight not to let anything through it wouldn't let the gas through so there you go all right so that's what you want to check on the needle and seat thank you